Moving into campaigns, this is the outbound capability of the CX Engage platform. This is where we can configure all the parameters. This is where I can select what type of channel I'm going to use for my outbound uh, campaigns. Are they going to be voice campaigns? Are they going to be SMS campaigns? We can also define the exp uh, expiry date. So when is this campaign actually going to finish? In this case, we'll select August 31st. We can also define the exact hour that we want it to uh, complete. We can also define the flow that we wanted to operate. So is there some type of scripting that's going to take place with the agent before the call's uh, dialed? Uh, we can very quickly define what that flow is going to look like. We can also define what region within the world we want it to operate. So if we're doing regional calling or maybe SMS messages, we may want to define which uh, region it's going to operate out of. Once again, uh, time zones are very important with contact centers, especially global contact centers, so we can define the uh, ID there. We can also define what uh, information we want to present as far as the outbound caller ID. So in this case, if we have an outbound uh, campaign, maybe dialing into the New York area, maybe we want to present a 212 area code uh, as the call goes out. We can also define our do not call list and also, uh, also any disposition list we want to associate to this outbound campaign. As far as the redial rules, this is where we can define the, the interval of retry. So we may say, please try to recall every 30 minutes. And we can also define the maximum number of retries. So in this case, we may try three attempts every 30 minutes, and then after that, uh, we'll uh, not continue to dial that number or SMS that number. We can also define our scheduling. So when's the earliest time to call? Once again, it's going to adhere to uh, the, the local tile, uh, time zones based on the dial list that we're going to provide. So that way it's not calling uh, customers at 3 o'clock in the morning uh, on, a, on a different time zone somewhere globally. We can also define what days of the week it's going to uh, operate. So in this case, we may want to only operate Monday through Friday, and we can display those different days of the week we're going to uh, dial. Also, we have exceptions, so very similar to what we saw in the business hours. If we want to make sure that we're going to cl be closed on December 25th, uh, we could very quickly come in and set that schedule for uh, multiple years uh, in the, into the future.